Hello, uh, my fellow YouTubers. This is going to be a short tutorial on how I charge my LiPo batteries. Um, this is a request by uh, a fellow subscriber who's just going to buy one of, one of these chargers here. Okay, um, nothing too fancy, just straight to the point. How to charge your 4S and 3S LiPo batteries. Here we go. This is the IMAX charger, probably the uh, most popular charger on the market today. Um, it's also one of those chargers that everyone seems to have or start out with. Okay, probably because it's, the, it's so easy to use, it's very simplified and um, it's just an all-around good charger. It'll last you forever. Okay, when you very first start your charger up, it's going to come to this screen to begin with for the very first time. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, it says program select. So you're actually going to charge, you're going to actually choose not LiPo charge. Don't ever, ever use LiPo charge. Okay, you're going to use LiPo balance. So just cycle through. So press start and then cycle through till you see LiPo balance. Now, um, I always charge at one amp. Um, there's no need to go any higher. Um, it's a safe level, doesn't matter what size battery you have, always charge at one amp. It's a lot better for your battery and a lot better for your wallet. Okay, and then you're going to get one of these adapters. Okay, these adapters don't come with your charger. They only come with your standard Dean's, Dean's adapter, which pl has a banana plug at the end, and you just put them in the positive and, positive, um, and negative ports. They're color-coded. So there's no uh, messing them up. Okay, and then you're going to get your little adapter, and it's an XT360 to a Dean's adapter. Okay, you're going to line up the pins the right direction, and then you're just going to connect it. Okay, they can be a bit stiff to begin with, because I don't usually use these things. I usually use a balance board. Okay, now. Uh, this is your 4S LiPo, it's a very popular LiPo battery, 1.3, ideal for drones because it's so lightweight. Um, there's no need going up to the 1.5, it's going to give you about 30 seconds more flight time because you're carrying that extra weight. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you always plug your XT360 in first. Okay, never plug this in first because this thing's going to take the load and you want the big thicker block to take the load to begin with okay and what you're going to do is you're going to connect that okay I'm going to have to move the camera here sorry about the vertigo okay now at the side of your charger you're going to have all these little plugs here and it's going to look really daunting and confusing what you're going to look for is first of all when the camera focuses okay Okay, this is actually your balance lead, okay? And it's got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now each wire goes to an individual cell, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, five cords coming out of five headers. Okay, four of these, all the colored ones, are actually power. Okay, and the one little black one at the end, that's your earth. Okay, now the plug itself is actually keyed. See the little bumps there? It's keyed so you can't put it in the wrong way. You don't want power going into your earth wire. Okay? So when you look at the side of the charger, you'll see the little keys. Okay, now the, the 4S one is the top one. And I can find it. It's the top one, and the key is actually facing up. Okay, so we're going to line that plug up. It can be a bit stiff to begin with, okay, because it's never been plugged in before. Because I don't usually use this. Okay, it's actually the the first one on the top. Okay. Now that we've plugged that in. Now just make sure the leads are securely plugged in. So always check your leads. Make sure they're all plugged in properly. Not because it's going to blow up, because you'll get an error. 
Okay, back to the to the screen. So charging at one amp. So then we press enter or start. And you're going to make sure that this is on 14.84s. Okay, now it's okay if you get it wrong. The battery charger will tell you and it'll just refuse to charge it because it's not set right. It's just going to do a battery check. Now once you've set that, and you set it by pressing these buttons. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the start button. It's going to do a battery check. Okay, and now it's going to say, all good. Press start again. Now it's charging. Now if you want to see the individual cells, just press... The the button next to the start one the up button and you can actually see the cells charging now one once it gets to full capacity the battery charger will stop charging it'll go it'll ring a little bell saying the battery is now full and then it's safe to disconnect and that's how you charge a 4s lipo um, charge time is usually about four to five minutes to an hour which is a good healthy charge time nice and slow is always better Okay, now then that's how you charge a 4S LiPo individually. Okay, back again. Now we're going to charge a 3S LiPo. Okay, this is a 2.2 milliamp hour LiPo. It's actually twice the size as our 4S one that we just charged. Okay, it's twice the size. So is there going to be any difference in the way we're charging? only the voltage okay we're not going to change anything else but the voltage even though this battery can take more amps we're not going to charge it at any higher amps because we want to keep it nice and safe okay now i'm going to introduce another product okay which can be used on any lipo battery not just the 3s okay it's a lipo charge bag okay lipo charge bag now this thing's about four between four and seven dollars depending on the size I picked the smallest one because I throw this in my backpack when I go flying it's just easier it, it, it can hold about six seven batteries so um, that's why I like it but it's also used for charging safely in case you don't have a big heavy um, box like I have the big metal box that I usually charge in okay so this is what this time we're going to actually charge a 3s lipo and we're going to use this lipo bag here. Okay, so we switch on the charger, and you'll notice something. It's always going to start at the last saved charge, and because I um, because I charged um, something else, a big, it was a really big battery, and I had to charge it quickly. But don't break the rule of one amp. Okay, here we go. We're going to charge a three S lipo this time. So first things first, we're going to do the plug-in. Okay, plug in the battery. So you plug in your XT360 to the charger. Okay, now remember, these, these balance plugs are all different sizes. This time we've got four prongs. That means we've got three power wires and one earth wire. Okay, now remember the keys. Here's the keys. Okay. Let's move this over here. Okay. Okay, that was the 4S one that we plugged in earlier. Now the one above it, that's the 3S one. Okay, so we plug the 3S one in. Okay, it only goes in one way. Don't try to force it. Okay. Okay, we're going to press enter because we're going to set this all up. Okay, we're going to go to LiPo balance. Remember, we always balance, we never charge. Always balance, never charge. Okay, and then we're going to hit enter. We're going to charge at one amp because that's a safe charging rate. Okay, so we're going to pick enter again. Oh, it's not a 4S battery this time. It's a 3S battery. So put it down to 3S. Okay. And if you notice, if you press up and down, it'll cycle through all the different size batteries. Okay, there's 3S. All right. Everything's ready. Everything's safe. No, we're not safe yet. We want to put this battery in a balance. We're going to put this in a bag. Okay. This one. So we can be a bit more safer. Okay. 
So what you're going to do is you're just going to slide this in, okay? Then you're going to fold this Velcro over, okay? Not pulling the wires out, <laughs> okay? Most of us use little extension wires so we can lay it flat, okay? Just make sure the camera's focused so you can see the process, okay? We're all good. Now I'm going to hold down this button. Battery test. Battery says everything's go. Press it again. Okay, it's charging safely. Okay, now we want to look at the cells. There's the cells. Okay, that's lipo charging. See how easy it can be, not so scary. Um, there's a there's an unwritten rule, well it should be written, that you never ever ever leave a lipo charge unattended. That means you've got to be around. Okay, um, they can catch on fire. There's plenty of YouTube videos of them catching on fire, so that should scare the living daylights out of you. Um, then they're pretty forgiving as long as you respect them. Okay, next step. So, what do all these numbers mean? This is um, my cyclone props. Now, these are cyclone props. And um, this is uh, another question. One of my subscribers asked me, what do all the numbers mean when you go and buy in your props? Because it, it looks like it's in some sort of unknown language. It's just got letters and numbers. Okay, so what these numbers mean. The first two numbers, the 50, refers to the length of the prop. Okay, from the center to the outside. So that says 50, so that must mean it's 50 millimeters. Okay. And we know these are five inch props because it's labeled five inch props, but that's what the 50 means. It means it's from there to there is 50 millimeters. Okay, and the last two numbers, the 45, refer to the angle that the prop hits the wind. So this one in this case, angle is 45 degrees. So it's going to give us 45 degree lift. So what's the T and the C mean? That's just branding, okay? It it means it's just branding and generation, okay? There's not you don't don't even worry about these fancy letters and numbers they they put on them, okay? All you care about is the first two numbers and the and the last two numbers, okay? So these these props are fifty millimeter length props with a forty five degree angle. Simple. Hope that helps you out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I try to keep my videos really laid back and straight to the point so they're less confusing for beginners. Thanks again.